and it's uh, about a, an actor who is uh, aging and living in a um, some sort of nursing facility, and uh, he is uh, reflecting on his life as an actor, and um, in order to uh, sort of um, survive in this environment of being in the nursing facility, he develops this fantasy that he is on stage addressing an audience. Um, he uses this experience as a way to try to explain his uh, past, his career, and try to make sense of, uh, of what acting is all about, what theater is all about. Well, we begin with nothing, quite literally, a hole or, or a space into which we for this uh, passion, this, this intensity, these, these uh, feelings and emotions and thoughts and dreams. We, we create out of nothing drama. And these scenes are uh, interrupted by um, members of the staff of the nursing facility who come to check on him and provide him with meals. And the conflict that develops between him and the staff um, over his desire to try to be alone and with this imaginary audience that he's created to try to um, sort of reflect on his, his life and career and the needs of the day-to-day uh, -day, uh, um, of, the, of the facility. During these uh, encounters with the staff, he becomes increasingly frustrated and um, belligerent uh, because they treat him like a subhuman. Uh, and so uh, th that's a big part of the conflict of the play. Look, you really must eat something. Do you want me to feed you? Hmm? Ah, perhaps I shall. We haven't done it in a while. Would you like that? We can try that. All right. Open wide. Here comes a little airplane into the hangar. Oh! Look what you've done! You naughty, naughty boy. Pick that up. All right, that's enough. Go get the... You know what. <laughs> you leave me no choice, Mr. Horn. Uh, so it's called The Idiot's Tale. I mean, I'm not, I, I guess everybody can come up with their own conclusion of why it's called The Idiot's Tale, but he keeps using this phrase that he is an idiot, um, which is something that is, has sort of been drilled into him by this environment of being in the nursing facility. They treat him like an idiot. And so he, 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 he uses that term um, to describe himself um, and whether he actually believes it or whether he's using it ironically is, is not clear. You see, uh, they don't know you're here, that I'm not actually alone. They think I'm all alone here, but I'm not. Uh, I'm with you. <laughs> They're wrong, and the, the joke's on them. <laughs> I got you, and you got me. And if I were to leave right now and go play bingo with the rest of them, well, I'd, I'd be forsaking you, my audience. And, and then where would you be? Well, you'd be gone, <laughs> wouldn't you? Yes, you'd, you'd, you'd just get up and leave, and, and, uh, and then uh, where would I be? Well, uh, I, I, then I'd lose you, and uh, I, I, I wouldn't like that, because, because then I'd, I'd have nothing, nothing to live for. It's been a, just a joy to work with Bob. He is a wonderful actor, very, very talented, and uh, he seems to have totally inhabited the role in a way that I... Uh, it, in, in a way that's teaching me about the role, in a way that I didn't, you know, didn't know from from even writing it. So that's a that's a wonderful experience of directing in general, but directing your own piece, um, it's a magical experience.